Hi. Hi. This is my sister Tara. And um, as I promised, I would had a special, very special guest, and she's a. I'm very special. <laughs> Indeed. So Tara, why don't you tell um, people a little bit about yourself? I'm 21 years old. I live with my mother, as does my brother. Um, I'm getting ready to move to Iowa City at the end of this month, month of August. Um, I'm a licensed massage therapist. I'm moving in with two of my very best gay friends. Um, really, really super excited. So I know about one of your gay friends, Dusty. Who's the other one? Um, the other guy's name is also Dusty. That's interesting. Yes. So um. I don't think I've he, met him. You have not met him, but um, he is a drag queen. Actually, he performs oh. in the shows at Studio in Iowa City. Which, if anybody out there lives in Iowa City, check out Studio, best gay bar ever. You must be 21 to get in. Um, they changed rules in Iowa City. Oh, they City. did? Yeah, they changed rules in Iowa City, so now you have to be 21 to get into all of the bars. So. Wow. See, because I have lots of memories of Studio, because, um, you know, my ex boyfriend lived there. When a you good friend there. of mine that I introduced him to. Yeah, and um, I remember lots of interesting nights there, and I used to, I've gotten kicked out of there a couple times. One time I got kicked out just for sitting, sitting on, on the floor. Yeah, sitting on the floor. But um, I was tired. <laughs> or something. At least. Or something. Yeah, at least I was drunk. And I'm, I might have been drunk, but. I'm pretty sure he was drunk. I was tired. But he loved it. He used to come to visit me every weekend, so I'm excited to have him come back. Yeah, it'll be fun. It'll also be nice to get you out of my hair. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> All taken. No, so I'm super excited about that. Um, my school said that they would help um, job place me. Um, hopefully I'll get a job at Aveda Salon and Spa, so check that out. Um, we do all kinds of things from full body massages to waxing to microdermabrasion to, you know, anything you could want, you know, if you want to just relax. I mean, it's fun. I love being a massage therapist. I definitely got all the talent in the family <laughs> and the looks, as you can tell. <laughs> Although my brother, you know, is very handsome. Aww. We look just alike if you Mike and I Mike and I just you, the damn like <laughs> if you put a wig on him he'd look like me or if you shave my head I'd look like him he's a little bit darker though and yeah uh, summer's been brutal I guess I don't know I don't see the outdoors <laughs> they don't really let me out of the cage very often <laughs> <laughs> oh so anyway um so we just got back from Des Moines. Yeah. We drove. We left at 5 a.m. because Bubba just had the urge to leave. So we got to see the sunrise. It was pretty nice. Two hour drive um, from Des Moines to Iowa. Saw our crazy sister Shanda. So yeah. If you, you're, you know, um, up on Bubba's videos. You probably saw her on Judge Judy, which you should definitely check that yeah, out. Yeah, everyone should check that out. Like, it's definitely hysterical. Yeah, like, uh, not a lot of people have seen it. It only has, like, 56 views or something, but it's really funny. It's really, really funny. And yes. not just saying because it's my sister, but I mean, just because she just goes balls to the wall talking just mad shit <laughs> on <laughs> yeah. a good friend of like all of ours. Huh. Which, former good former, friend. Former good friend of yours. But now she's she just a me. bitch, you know. <laughs> well, that's usually how it goes. <laughs> and we didn't sleep a wink all night we've been up so no because it was impossible to sleep over there yeah that couch definitely is a back attack waiting to happen yeah so we're like pretty tired for sure i can't tell so anyway tara are you dating anybody right now i am not currently dating anyone i am single um heterosexual although <laughs> i love the gays you know so holla i actually fell in love with a gay man once he said he was bisexual, but I think bisexuality is just, you know, just uh, a road to gay town. <laughs> <laughs> but he was, I met him at studio, of course. But no, I'm not dating anyone. Um, I go out on a lot of dates. Actually, I have a lunch date today with a guy um, named Andre. He really likes me, so we'll see how that goes. Um, we 
saw Twilight last week. Um, I really liked it. If you're a Twilight fan, you know, you'll probably like it, or you've seen it. Or if you read the books, check that out, for sure. Didn't you say he has some kind of skin disease or something? He has vitiligo, which is... Vitiligo? Bit. Vitiligo. Vitiligo. If I'm correct, if I'm not correct, then don't hold it against me. But, um, yeah, he has a twin brother. They're both 33, and he's a little bit lighter than me. He just kind of looks like a really, really light-skinned brother. Which actually, he was telling me that it offends him when you know people think that he's mixed because I guess he's black and proud. Right. But I'm um, not. he's still he's still <laughs> right. We all know you know with your blue contacts and when you bleached your hair in high school. And my eyebrows. It was quite frightening. Yeah, it was like an was, albino. Oh, it was fierce. It was yeah. It was fierce. <sighs> but I can't bleach my hair anymore. Yeah, that would require you having some. Uh-huh. I know, right? Right. Um, so is there anything else you would like people to know about you? or? Um, no, just that, you know, my brother, I love my brother very much, but I'm very family-oriented. Our mother is really cool. We're all alcoholics, and we smoke a lot. <laughs> we have a lot of mental defects. Um... <laughs> But we're very interesting people. This is my first vlog, so I didn't really know what to talk about. Um, if I really get into the groove, I'll probably start talking about sex and my sexcapades. I mean, that's pretty interesting. Yeah, because you have, like, a really... A really, a really real strong amount of sexcapades. And Some interesting you have a stories. high sexual appetite. Oh, my libido is out of this planet. I mean, masks don't even get me started on masturbating. Ugh. Oh, yeah, don't get us started. <laughs> But anyways, thanks for checking this out. Hopefully there'll be more videos for, <laughs> for uh, us to come, especially if we're talking about sex. I mean, come on now. Who does not want to hear somebody talk about sex? I mean, it's like... I don't know talk if I want to hear you talk about sex. Shut up. It's like talk sex with Sue. I mean, the old hag. I had that show for like ever, and I would always watch it. Did you ever watch Talk Sex with Sue? Uh, I don't think so. She was like 80 years old, and all like she did was talk about Dr. sex. Dr. Ruth? I don't know who Dr. Ruth is. Oh. But anyway, so we'll probably be talking about sex if I have it my way. If not, then we'll just, well, then I won't talk at all because I don't really know anything <laughs> about tennis, gymnastics, basketball, Skating. baseball, football. So sex is your thing? Sex and uh, horror movies, yeah. Yeah, I'll yeah, probably, you love horror movies. I do love horror movies. I actually have the um, $55 life-size Chucky and Bride of and Chucky, Bride Chucky yeah. matching dolls, 55 each. Which I got for an ex-boyfriend of mine named Taylor, who um, I want to bust the windows on his car. Ugh, don't even start on him. Anyways, no, we don't anyway, start there. Right, right. But anyways, uh, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for dropping by, Tara. No problem. Anytime, Wall. <laughs> okay. Um, bye. <laughs>